this is Nicole from Photomagic and today we're going to be working with our digital backdrops. I'm going to show you how to cut out subjects to place them on our digital backgrounds. Okay, so first you want to go to your quick selection tool and select over your subjects. Okay, these work best with natural lighting. All of our digital backdrops. Okay, and so we, we take care here to make sure we get all the hair, bits of the dress, because we can cut out sections of the background later. Okay, so now I'm going to just copy this over, go to my digital backdrop, and I'm going to paste this in. Okay, so I'm going to use the Move tool, and we're going to find a good place to put our subjects in here. You can play around with this for a little while just to look and see what feels natural to you. Okay, now I'm gonna go and remove the background from her hair and bits that appear to be unnatural. Okay, this is the background removing tool. Leave it on discontiguous and set to about 15%. Okay, so what this is gonna do, you click once and you hold and erase the color. This takes one sample of color and removes everything that the cursor passes over. This is a sampling once. There are different types of background removal. This one seems to be the fastest that I like to work with. And you'll find different ranges of color it doesn't pick up. You can release your click and increase your tolerance. So it'll erase a, a wider range of color. This works beautifully on um, edits with lighter backgrounds. If you set it to find edges here, it won't bleed into your photo as much with the erase. It will just catch the edges. I'm going to use the normal erase brush to kind of define them in the snow. and create a new layer and make this a clipping mask on top of our subjects only. So we right click on the new layer, create clipping mask. Now this is attached to only the people in the photo. I'm going to select a color that sets the tone for my photo. There's a lot of blue. Okay, I'm going to take the paintbrush tool and I'm going to paint on the blue over the top of people in the photo. You're going to see why in a minute this comes really handy. I'm going to go to the layer and set it to be overlay at about 59%. You can see it shifts it from warm to cool. I'm creating a clipping or a mask on top of this so I can kind of remove, easily remove or add back. You can see that live thumbnail view of me editing her dress down here. This is a little bit better than the erase tool because we can put it back. Now I'm going to use the blur tool to kind of soften the edges. Make sure you click on the layer thumbnail 
to blur the edges of your photo that we're not on the layer mask. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow to make this look more natural. Okay, you just kind of select a dark brownish color that's kind of natural to me. I'm going to use our paintbrush tool, set the brush opacity to 34. Okay, this we can just have fun with. It can be really sloppy because we'll clean this up. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and paint on, look at this photo here for a guide where the shadow falls. I'm gonna kind of replicate this. Okay, go ahead and paint it on and then we'll clean it up. Okay, set it to 38%. Okay, so now I'm cleaning up my shadows. Shadows you want to be kind of minimal with. And now I'm going to add some depth. Typically when you add a little bit of shading behind the subjects, it helps add a field of depth. So I'm going to use a dark blue. And I'm painting this behind my subjects. Nice big soft brush. Okay, don't worry about it first when we're putting it on because we're going to drop this. This layer's on soft light. So now it's blending with our photo. It's creating even more natural. Okay, here's our after. Thank you for watching. This digital backdrop is available at photomagic.cc.